Find all positive integers a, b, and x. Satisfying this equation, x to the power of a plus x to the power of b equals x to the power of a plus b. Hmm, what shall we do? So fun. Now, our right hand side is ugly. So what shall we do? Every time we see an ugly thing, we have to do substitutions. Before the substitution, the right hand side can be written as x to the power of a times x to the power of b. Why? Because we have the formula x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x to the power of a plus b. Very good. So the left hand side is the sum of these two guys. And the right hand side, multiplication. Now we can do the substitution. We can let x to the power of a be m, x to the power of b be n. And then we will get m plus n equals m times n. Of course, m and n are positive integers because x, a, and b are positive integers. So m is a positive integer. n as well. So then we have to solve for m and n, positive integers m and n, satisfying this equation. m plus n equals m times n. Usually for this kind of equations, we have to subtract the right hand side from the left hand side or the left hand side from the right hand side. In you know, this case, we subtract the left hand side from the right hand side. So m times n minus m, then minus n equals zero. Because we have zero on the right hand side, usually we have to add a number. Negative m is minus one times m, negative n is minus one times n. So now, if we add minus one times minus one, add one on the both sides. We can actually factorize the left hand side because then it can be written as one minus m then times one minus n. You see, one times one is one, negative m times one is negative m, negative n times one is minus n, and negative m times negative n is plus m times n. So therefore, we can solve for m and n because we have an integer on the right hand side and a factorization on the left hand side. Since m and n are greater than or equal to 1. So 1 minus m and 1 minus n, both of them have to be less than or equal to 0. So that means this is non-positive, this as well. And now we have to factor 1. How? 1 can only be written as negative 1 times negative 1 in this case, because both are non-positive. So we get 1 minus m equals negative 1, 1 minus n equals negative 1. So then, m is equal to n is equal to 2. We've successfully solved m and n. Now, m is this, n is this. So, that means x to the power of a equals x to the power of b equals 2. x is a positive integer, a, b as well. Now, if x is greater than, greater than or equal to 3, then x to the power of a and x to the power of b 
are of course greater than or equal to 3. So it cannot be true. Contradiction. So that means x should be 1 or 2. If x is equal to 1, 1 to the power of any real number is 1. So it cannot be true. That means the only value for x is x equals 2. And then if x equals 2, a is of course 1, b as well. So a is equal to b equals 1. So our answer is x a b is 2 1 1. Only one solution pair. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.